I'm going to walk you through how I set up this creation here, my welcome to Florida creation for one of my friends who had just moved cross country, including what balloons I used, how many balloons I used, what techniques I used to create the garlands and install it. Let's jump right in. So the first color I'm working with today is Sea Glass by Tough Decks, and I am using that in a 5 inch, 11 inch, and 17 inch here. So of course I'm going to dump out these balloons and then start inflating in quads. Now you can see I'm mixing and matching all the sizes here. I'm doing some 5s, a lot of 11s, definitely a lot of 17s as well, get that big bulky size going in there. So as you can see here, I'm inflating in quads, I'm twisting some of these quads together to form clusters, sometimes of 6, of 8, of 12, I'm definitely kind of keeping it random on this creation. And then I'm connecting those clusters of different sizes together using 260s. I do think I'm using the color White Sand from Sempertex on this creation to form sections of this garland, and I'll talk more about that soon. Now this box might look familiar if you've seen my organization videos. I do like to shove all of my balloons for a single job into one or five boxes as needed for easy use. Okay, next color. So I'm doing white from Qualitex here in 16 inches. I only have that one size here. So I did try to blow them up to kind of different sizes, but they are all pretty bulky. And I kind of like that it gives that dimension to the garland. My theme for this creation, um, in my head I had named it Beachy AF. So I was keeping it very beach toned. I wanted the sand, the blues of the water. And then this white to me in my head, in my own picture here, was kind of the like white caps on waves. So I just wanted a little touch of white throughout the creation if that makes sense. Now this beautiful color is really the one that makes it in my eyes. This is White Sand by Sempertex. They are also called Batalitex. So if you find White Sand by Batalitex, that is the same thing as White Sand from Sempertex. And I did use that in 5 inch, 9 inch, 11 inch, and 24 inch. All of my large balloons in this creation were the 24 inch White Sand by Sempertex. And probably my only like critical note on these is you can see the quality on these is slightly subpar as far as professional balloons go. It's pretty evident they have that dark spot aka the dreaded nipple on the balloon there. You'll be able to see that in a lot of the imagery in this video. But their colors are so exquisite that for me, it makes up for it, or at least it's worth it to use them because they really do have some of the most beautiful colors on the market. That 260 might actually be in white. I'm not even sure at this point. I have been getting asked a lot of questions lately on how to minimize the appearance of that dark spot, and I think I'm going to have to do a video on that before long. So here again, I'm inflating in quads, twisting some of those quads together to make small clusters, 6, 8, 12, whatever feels right. And then I'm tying those clusters together with a Sempertex 260 to make my little sections of the garland. So for the most part here, I'm just making like two or three sections of different shapes, different sizes in each of the colors I'm going to be using here. And then when it comes time to actually do the install, I'll lay out exactly how and where I want each one to go. Now a lot of people do lay this out ahead of time and I have done that before. On this one, I was just kind of doing whatever felt right at the time. Okay, now my last color in this creation is Calisan Retro Storm, and I used this in 5 inch and 12 inch. That was all I had. I would have loved to have some larger sizes for this creation in this color, but I didn't, and you know what? It still worked out totally fine. This color is so stinking gorgeous, you guys. It actually reminds me a lot of Blue Slate from Tough Decks, so if you had one instead of the other, that might be a passable dupe. But how smooth this looked with that white sand and then that pop of sea glass. Ooh, you guys, I just loved this combo. Now specifically on the Calisan, those necks were so soft and stretchy and beautiful. I actually just tied these clusters together for the most part. I didn't even need to use a 260 to tie them in. They were so easy to tie together. Now because I use a lot less 5 inch as compared to 12 inch when I'm doing normal clusters for a garland, I ended up having a lot of the 5 inch retro storm left over. So I made one section that was just a mini garland, like we went over my mini garland video. And I know a lot of you guys had asked then to see me use that in a creation. What's another way we can incorporate mini garlands into creations. So I did that here with this retro storm and I hope you guys like it. Now I think I ended up using basically a full bag in every size and every color except for the white from Qualitex. I used maybe a half a bag. So in the end you guys, this is how many balloons went into this creation. And I'm not sure that this is doing it justice or showing it to scale. It was a ton. Okay. I know the audio in this next section sucks, you guys. I'm so sorry, but get ready for some authentic Florida background noise. Okay, now I'm going to take my garland, put it in position exactly where I want it, and wrap my fishing line through as many of the balloons as I can. So using fishing line, I'm just attaching this to the gazebo, section by section. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the second piece of the garland. 
note, I actually like using fishing line on outdoor installs like this because it keeps it kind of easy, breezy, especially in Florida, you got some big winds sometimes. And this really keeps it light and like, I don't know, kind of mobile. And I feel like it gets like dragged less by the wind. I could totally be making that up, but. <laughs> That's my thoughts on the matter. Now I'm also using fishing line to tie these pieces at the bottom here down to these planters to keep them more secure. Honestly, I had wanted to get a lot more footage for this video for you guys, and in the end, I ended up battling daylight, and you can see the sun literally sets while I'm installing, so it was a total race against time, and sadly, I just couldn't get more footage on site. Being that this is an outdoor creation in the freaking Florida sun, I have no misconceptions. I know this is only gonna last a few hours tops, okay? It is not gonna look good for long, so I'm not worried about keeping this thing secure for a week or anything like that, but I do wanna make it look as good as I can for as long as I can. So I'm attaching to the gazebo, to the other sections, to the nearby pottery wherever I can to keep this sucker secure. Okay, now I'm really, you guys, just kind of spacing this out and seeing what looks good to me as I go. How can I alternate colors? Where can I draw that eye through the design? I don't want your eyes to get hung up on any one point. I really want to suck it through, draw it through. And there goes the sun. <laughs> Man, the sun sets fast, you guys. That literally happened in like 30 seconds in real time. It was crazy. Good thing I was just about done. Put that little mini garland in place there for that cute little pop, a little contrast in size. Add on a couple final pops and we are done. So I did manage to get a few good shots. Luckily, my still camera was being a lot more cooperative than when I was shooting video and I was able to get some shots that did it justice. So again, this is the theme I call Beachy AF. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and leave me a comment down below if there's something you want to see from me next. Sorry, when your uh, best friend texts you questions about Akatar, you stop what you're doing, you stop filming and you answer because Asriel is bae.